And I was looking at these frogs and I was thinking, you know, that's it. They are sitting there. They are focused on the short-term threat. They are looking at the short-term world around them. They are thinking about what is going on in the here and now, and they're not realizing what is going on in the long term. The long term trend is if they don't get out of that road, there's going to be a big problem and it's going to be ugly. How many of you have lost your ability to take risks? You've lost your courage to innovate. Bring it back. Restore the ability to make mistakes. It is better to have something go wrong than to not do anything at all. A child cries with complete, unbridled, unrestricted, full-flowing passion. That's what we're missing in the world of business today. Isn't it time we get excited about the future again? Isn't it time we get innovative again? Isn't it time we start thinking again about how wonderful it could be? Isn't it time we start exploring the boundaries again in terms of the capabilities and the opportunities? Isn't it time we wake up, realize the benefit of initiative? It's my little guy, Thomas, you know, when he was two, three, he wanted a hockey blocker. And we said, no, Thomas, you're not going to get one. You know, you're going to grow, and you're going to outgrow this thing. We're not going to spend the money on that. He went to his sitters. He had the sitter give him a cereal box. He painted it up, and he had her cut out a little handle inside, and that was his hockey blocker, and he used it for two years. He took the initiative. And I, I thought that was a remarkable story. I'm going to try to do it. How many of us have stopped saying that? I'm going to try to do it. Re re restore initiative. Destroy complacency. In the Pogo com comic strip several years ago, Pogo observed in, in, in a comment to a friend of his, we is faced with insurmountable opportunities. Think about that phrase. We is faced with insurmountable opportunities. We know the opportunities are there. We know there are many things that we can do. We know there's all kinds of potential. But heck, we can't do them. They are insurmountable opportunities. This is what many of you are doing. This is what many of you are permitting to happen with the potential that you can bring to your organizations. You have put yourself in the box that you are faced with insurmountable opportunities. We know where the problem is. The problem is us. How many of you are like the frogs on the road in Texas? You are so focused on the short term you're forgetting about what is happening around you. And you know what? There's lots more to come. As a leading international futurist, innovation and trends expert and consultant, Jim Carroll is also a frequent keynote speaker at conferences, as well as someone who provides highly customized corporate workshops and training. I think we are living in transformative times in which there is unprecedented opportunity for those who, who believe and unprecedented threat for those who dare to close your eyes. He has spent the last 15 years in helping organizations and their people understand how to be ready and able to adopt tomorrow today. There continue to be countless opportunities, business models, case studies, best practices, things you can be doing. You will only discover them if you bring back your curiosity about the future. Jim's foresight is based on extensive research and analysis. He is a strategic consultant, an alumni of KPMG, and an author and columnist. I spent a lot of time looking at the world around me to sort of observe change, to sort of see what is happening, to, 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 to try and see, you know, what is going on? Where are we going to be in the future? How quickly are things evolving? With 34 books to his credit that have sold in excess of 750,000 copies worldwide, over 600 articles for a wide variety of national and international publications, and some 3,000 interviews on radio, television, and in print, well, we can't keep working the way we always have. I think a lot of folks take an attitude uh, into their uh, everyday work habit of, of we've always done it that way. That can no longer apply. The world is changing so rapidly. Uh, there's so much change coming to the industry. There's so many new elements of risk that we need to think about. Uh, in a world of constant change, we've just got to be prepared to change everything we do uh, almost on a continuum.